Morning! It is, what day is it? Thursday, okay? So today, Thursday is our surprise session day, okay? When nobody really knows what you're gonna be in for um, until the day. Sometimes I say before, if you might need a bit of equipment, um, it's all about holding today. Now that still may not shed much light um, to a lot of you, but you're gonna see in the demos, okay? So, who's in the house today? David Jones, long time no see, David. How you doing? Um, I hope you've joined. Uh, I hope you've joined in now to actually do the session because <laughs> you're going to love this. Today's quite torturous, even if I do say so myself. It's a very different session to what I normally do. Anthony Perry, how you doing, mate? Give us a thumbs up. Give us a give us a like recognition that we know that you're actually watching. Don Atus, how we doing, mate? Thanks for tuning in. Listen, got a really interesting session for you today. It's very different um, to what I normally do. Um, it's still strength-based. A lot of you are gonna think it's just pure torture, okay? So um, it's just a very different, very different session. Um, same format, we're gonna do shout-outs till 10, then we're gonna do a little three exercise warm-up, and then we're gonna lead into six exercises where we're doing 40 seconds work, 25 seconds rest, okay? So um, very different session but um, should be good. So as always, I'm gonna give it a little bit of time, wait for people to tune in. Make sure you've got a sweat towel, guys. Make sure you've got some water. Um, Jason, morning, how you doing? How you doing? Listen, somebody, Jason was gonna to sit today out, you know, but he's here, he's doing it. Don't worry, guys, if you've been struggling from the last couple of days. Julia, morning, how you doing? Lucy, how you doing? Lucy, if you haven't done one of my sessions before, stick with it. Today's a little bit different. It's functional body weight strength still, but we are going to be doing isometric, isometric holds in six different positions, okay? So normally my sessions are much more dynamic. We get a real sweat on, heart rates up. But you know what? It's going to be really hot again today, guys. So I decided to make uh, this session a little bit different to normal, okay? So stick with it till 10 o'clock. Then we're going to do a three exercise warm up and I'm gonna lead you into the demos while you guys continue the warm-up at home so you know what you're gonna be in for, okay? Julia, how are we doing? Are you ready? Um, there's a couple of people still waiting for, what times? We've got one more minute, okay, guys? So if anyone's got any questions, anyone got anything they wanna ask, like you can always DM me anything about nutrition, your form, or any of your exercises, or anything you think that might help, um, send the messages through. Um, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, Okay, so we're getting ready, guys. Whew, it's a very different session. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Glad you're ready, Julia. We're still waiting for Charlotte, Ali. Uh, where's Jen Cope? I know she's at work, but I've got to ask, where's Jen Cope? Where's Miriam? Where's uh, Michelle? Antonella, how you doing? So listen, guys, you haven't done one of my sessions before. We start with a three exercise warm-up. We're going to go into the demos. You guys continue the warm-up at home. Rosie, how you doing? Charlotte, where have you been? About time. Got an exercise just for you today. Um, Charlotte was asking, what, as a lot of you girls do, what about the inside of the thigh? What can I do to work the inside of my thigh? I have put the old thigh gap. Yes, you know that one. Um, Jason, just for you. David Jones, just for you. <laughs> but listen, guys, we've got a specific exercise. going to be hitting the inside of the thigh as well. Um, don't worry, it's going to get you sweating. Guys, still need to do these exercises. Um, it's good to have a bit of variation in your sessions, okay? So guys, if we're ready, Becky Taylor, good morning. How are you, hon? Hope you're all right. Are you just watching or are you going to join in today? Come on, get involved. Really? I mean, it's not going to be easier, but it's technically going to be a little bit easier than what we've done before. It's not as dynamic. There's no jumping around. We're holding in certain exercises. You're going to see now with the demos what I mean by that. David Jones has got a bit of a clue, I'm sure. Um, okay, guys, so... It's 10 o'clock, are we ready? So we're gonna start with a three exercise warm up as always, okay? So let's get those high knees going. Let's start getting the body warmed up and ready for exercise. Throw some punches out. Throw some punches out just to warm up the upper body. Five star jumps. And then five drop squats, okay? So all the way down, feet together. Five drop squats. Okay, 10 high knees. Get the knees nice and high. Get the balls your feet, get that blood flowing. We want to be warmed up, don't want to have any injuries today. Five star jumps. Okay, and five drop squats. Here we go, okay. So, guys, this is where you continue this warm-up at home. Continue doing those three exercises, 
whilst I demo our isometric holds for today. Okay guys, exercise one. We're going into that deep lunge position, okay? Knee touches the floor, bring the knee up off the floor. We're gonna be holding. So, all of our exercises today are holding. We're gonna be holding in this position for 20 seconds, and we're gonna come up, swap, use the knee to kiss the floor as your depth gauge, and then come back off the floor just an inch. Holding, okay? Holding in the lunge position. This is gonna burn quite a bit. Okay, exercise two. We're going to go down into high plank. Make sure your hands aren't out in front of you. Hands are under shoulders. Bum down, core's braced. Leg up. Make sure your shoulders are over your hands. Okay, we're going to hold. 20 seconds. Swap. 20 seconds on this side, okay? Just gets a little bit more core engagement. Right, exercise three. We're going to go nice and wide into the splits here, guys. Go as wide as you can. Now you're going to squeeze your legs together, squeeze them as hard as you can, like you're trying to squeeze them against the floor, brace. This is a position for exercise three, we're going to be holding, squeeze as hard as you can. Oh. Okay, that one will be surprisingly painful, okay. Um, exercise four, nice simple bit of core, okay. We're going to lean back till that core engages, feet off the floor. Hands reach up, we're going to sit, we're going to hold in this V-sit position, just holding, bracing, breathing through the exercise, okay, making sure that core's fully engaged, give it a little tap, make sure it's tense, don't be feeling it in your lower back. Okay, exercise five, we're back up into that press-up position, we're going to go down and we are going to hold at the bottom of that press-up position. We are absolutely not lying on the floor. We are not leaning on our chest. We are not resting on our elbows. We are not almost holding ourselves up. You're going to go down and you are literally three quarters at the bottom of that press up. You're holding. Brace, okay? Holding in that position. It's quite a toughie. And our final exercise, guys, exercise six, it's going to involve a little bit more explanation. I don't know if any of you have done these before. This is a plank, but it's not any normal plank, it's called an RKC plank. So basically, let me just explain. When you're standing upright like this, your back starts, your hips, your pelvis is pointing back. Okay, if you tense your bum and twist your hips forwards like that, the only way you can twist your pelvis like that is if your core is engaged and if your glutes are engaged, okay? You can't twist your hips forwards, uh, twist your pelvis back into that neutral position without having your core switched on and your glutes on. So that is all important in this exercise. This is an RKC plank. So, we're gonna go down into low plank position. Hands are parallel, okay? Fists are clenched tight as you can, okay? You're gonna hop up into low plank position. You're gonna adjust your pelvis now, but forward, which means you have to squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. You have to squeeze your core, and then, you're gonna pull with your elbows, pull back towards your toes and try and pull your toes up to your elbows while staying in that position. Trust me, that is hard, okay? So, in that position on the floor, your elbow, your fists are clenched, hips, uh, sorry, pelvis is forward, core is switched on, your glutes are squeezed as tight as you can, quads are squeezed as tight as you can, and then you're pulling your elbows down, pulling against the floor, and your toes, you're curling your toes up to try and meet your elbows whilst keeping your body completely straight, okay? So that is a tough thing. Guys, chill out. That's the end of the demos for today, okay? So in a moment, we're gonna start. It's 40 seconds work, 25 seconds rest. It's the same timings. I've tried some different timings with this. Some of the exercises are easy, some of them are hard. A minute was too much, so guys, the same timings work with this. Now guys, it's an isometric hold. What, what's an isometric hold? What's it doing? It will help build strength. It will help with stamina. It will help with muscle building. Because basically in these holds, you are going to be contracting your mu muscles as if you were doing a concentric move. They're going to be contracted as intense, but you're just holding them in that tensed position, okay? So they are working hard to hold your body in that position, okay? It's gonna burn, it's gonna feel the stamina, there's gonna be a lot of lactic acid build up, okay? So just be prepared, it's a very different session from what we do normally. 
So, mop the brow. I was wondering if this was going to be as sweaty a session. I didn't think it would be, but actually I'm already soaked, so. Mm. Drink some water. Has anyone else checked in? Okay, Sean. How are you doing? Very different session today, guys. Okay, so, are we ready? 40 seconds work, 25 seconds rest, all isometric holding positions. Brace your core as much as you can through all of these exercises. All about stability, core strength, okay? Get ready. Starting in 10 seconds. So this is holding in a lunge position. Big step back, okay? Knee to the floor. Three, two, one, go. Okay, knee off the floor, one inch. Hold, okay? Back foot is on, the, is on my toes. I'm hovering, holding, core is braced. If you need to hold your hands out for balance, hold your hands forward. Hands on the head, we'll make it a tiny bit harder. Keep holding. We're gonna swap at 20 seconds. Keep holding. Swap, legs. Big lunge down, knee off the floor. Hold. Holding in this position, okay? Keep holding. You think, oh, these holds aren't gonna be that painful. Just you wait and see. Keep holding. Core is always tense, core is always switched on. Resting. Okay, shake it off. Exercise two, it's a high plank, but we're doing it with one leg off the floor, okay? So, hands are underneath shoulders, directly under shoulders, okay? You need a little bit of extra mobility in your wrist. It does hurt my wrist because I'm quite stiff and old, but shoulders over hands, okay? Then we're gonna go up into high plank, and then we're gonna lift, so bum down. Begin. Now we're gonna lift one leg off, brace that core, we're gonna hold, and then when we get to halfway, 20 seconds, we're gonna swap, okay? Point that toe, the leg that's off the floor, point that toe towards the wall. You can tense your calf, you can tense your quad in this one. Get ready. Okay, swap legs. Keep resetting yourself, keep checking your form, bum down, okay? The leg that's off the ground, keep holding. Tense your quads. Get a good bit of glute engagement in the leg that's off the floor, keep holding. Keep holding. This session is a creeper. First round you'll probably find quite easy. Resting. Okay. Rest. Exercise three. This is the split, like a split squeeze, basically. So you're going to go as wide as you can into the splits. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's quite, that's all right. That's not hard. But then we're going to squeeze our legs against the floor as hard as you can, okay? So get ready. Put your hands on your thighs. Get ready. Begin. Okay, squeeze. So you're squeezing your legs together. Make sure your legs are locked out nice and strong. Squeeze. Keep the tension on. Keep the tension on. Don't relax. Don't just relax until squeezing against the floor as hard as you can. Inside thighs, absolutely rock hard. Keep holding. If you've got knee trouble, just make sure your legs are locked out. Squeeze. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing, this is painful, I know, this one is like torture. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last few seconds. Keep squeezing. Resting. Whoa. Okay, come out of that one gently. Woo. Right guys, down onto the floor now, to the V-sit, okay? So it's a good bit of core engagement. Stability, balance is needed to do this one. So you're gonna lean back first to get your core braced. Okay, hands go up, last thing, feet come off for ease, okay? Lean back, hands up, Begin. feet off. Okay. Reach up, reach those hands right up, don't get lazy, don't hold them down here. Reach them right up. Holding. Breathing through it, deep throat, slow breaths. Straighten out those legs, point the toes if you can. Resting. Okay. Ooh, feeling that one by the end. Okay, next one guys, we're holding at the bottom of our presser position. You're only cheating yourselves if you just lie on the floor or you lean on your hands, okay? Don't do that. Elbows are in. You're going to hold almost at the bottom of the press up. I would say we're probably like three inches off the floor, okay? So up. Begin. Okay. Up. 
Okay, down, hold. Hold in that position. This will help with strength. Those people who are struggling with their press up, struggling to push up from the bottom, this will help. Hold here, guys. Elbows in, don't want elbows flaring out, keep those elbows in. 20 seconds, halfway. Wow, it's quite hard on. Keep holding. Final 10 seconds, keep holding. Ah, come on. Resting. Oh. Okay. Final exercise, guys. Let me remind you again. RKC plank. Pelvis, when you're standing normally, it tips back. You want to be twisting it forwards like that. To do that, you have to switch your core on and you have to tense your glutes. We're going to get into that position in this plank. So, low plank yeah. position. Fists are clenched. Pelvis is tucked. Pull. Pull your elbows down to your toes. Pull your toes towards your elbows. So I've started shaking already. If you're doing it properly, clench those fists. Pull, make sure elbows stay under shoulders, you're pulling against the floor, pulling against the tension of your whole body. Pull, get those glutes tensed, make sure that core is tensed. Keep pulling, elbows to toes, keep pulling. Brace. Okay, end of round one. If you were doing that plank properly, it would have really hurt and it would have got you pouring with sweat. <laughs> okay, end of round one guys. Shake it off, shake it off. Loosen it up. Take some deep breaths. One minute 20 is always in between the rounds. Shake it off. If anything's feeling tight, maybe core, hands up. Lean back, stretch your abs out. Loosen up your upper body. That last plank, I sort of felt it. Really felt it in my core as I was pulling down. It's almost like you're pulling like into a crunch position, but then you can't actually move because your hands are weighted to the floor with your body. So you're just tense, really gets a uh, full body experience, that one. Okay, guys, with 30 seconds in, make sure you're nice and loose. Personally, I found the press up, bottom of the press up, that's probably one of the hardest ones in there. And obviously, the split squeeze is just unpleasant, isn't it? Let's be honest, it's torture. Um, okay, we've got 10 seconds, guys, so back into round one, uh, round two, sorry, exercise one, into that isometric lunge position. Make sure it's a really big step back you've got. Get ready. Begin. Knee down, up, holding. Holding in that position, okay? Brace your core. Check, is your core switched on? Is your core tense? Yeah, make sure it is. If it isn't, why not? <laughs> it should be. Core should be engaged in every move that we do. Okay, swap, swap legs. Now, hold, brace, hips and shoulders square, check your form. Is core switched on, yeah? Hold in. Keep holding. Okay, next one, high plank with single leg off the floor. Again, spread your hands out, dig your fingers into the mat, okay? You wanna be nice and controlled. Tense that upper body, brace that core, you don't wanna feel this in your lower back. Hands are underneath shoulders, hands aren't out like this, like that, hands are around the shoulders, okay? Begin. Up, let's go, leg off. Leg off the floor, point the toe. Looking at the floor, keeping spine in neutral position. Are, we, are your shoulders over your hands? No, move forward then, slide your body forward. <sighs> Swapping out halfway, remember. Brace that core. Okay, swap legs, bum down. Don't let your bum creep up into downward dog position. This is not downward dog. We're still in a good straight plank position with one leg off the floor, getting that glute to engage. Hold. Okay, next one, split squeeze. 
<sighs> We've still got 20 seconds rest. Shake it out. Subtle this session, isn't it? It's a creeper. You're like, yeah, it's not so hard. Yeah, I'm all right. Trust me, you'll be feeling it by the end. Okay. Nice wide splits. Lock your legs out, okay? Hands on your thighs. Begin. Tense, squeeze. Squeeze those legs together. Squeeze them together. Squeeze, keep the tension on. Keep the tension on all the way through, don't relax. Squeeze. Squeeze. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Halfway. Oh, this one makes me shake almost instantly. Keep going. Squeeze those legs together. Squeeze as hard as you can against the floor. Like trying to close them. Last few seconds. Resting. Okay, come out of this one gently. Oh. Come out of that one gently. That isn't the move you would normally do. Ah. Woo. Okay. V sit. Good bit of core now. Here we go. Remember, lean back, 45 degrees. Brace the core. Hands are up. Last thing to come off is your feet. Get ready. Lean back. Begin. Okay, here we go. Into position. Point the toes if you can. Nice straight legs. Reach up as high as you can. Get those hands up as high as you can. Keep holding. Make sure that core switched on. You're not feeling it in your low back. Is it? Yeah, nice and hard. Ten seconds. Keep holding. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come on. Mm. Resting. Oh. <laughs> Proper old man noises there coming out of that one. Okay, guys. Press up. We're holding in the bottom of that press up position. So all the way down and then up just a fraction, just so all of the tension is in the upper body. So all engage those muscles are contracted as if they're about to push you up, but you're not going anywhere, you're holding in that position, okay? Begin. All the way down to the bottom of the press up and up and hold. There we go. You know the position you need to be in to make it hard. Don't stop in the easy position. If it's too easy, come up a tiny bit more. Yeah, if it's just too easy, up a tiny bit more. There we go. Whoa. I'd say maybe a quarter of the way up then. If you're finding it too easy at the bottom, get that press up a tiny bit higher. You'll find the point where it burns. 10 seconds. Elbows in, not elbows flared out. Elbows squeezed to the side of the body. Resting. Oh. Okay. And now guys, RKC plank. Remember, clenched fists, pelvis, Twist it forward by squeezing the glutes on and getting the core switched on. You've got to get that move in, okay? That's the position you need to have with this plank. Hands are parallel. Fists are clenched. Begin. Get that pelvis. Tense your glutes. Consciously squeeze your bum. That will put your pelvis in the right position. That will get core switched on. Then pull your elbows towards your toes. Toes, curl them up. Towards elbows, it is exhausting this one. Pull, squeeze the glutes, glutes might switch off, switch them back on. Resting. Oh, honestly. If you haven't done that plank before, that might come as a bit of a shock to the system. That is the end of round two. Okay, have a little rest, have a little breather. I'm going to talk about that plank a bit more because there's a lot to um, there's a lot to remember. So we've got the normal one minute twenty rest. I'm just going to talk about that plank. You have got to make sure as you stand. If you're just standing normally, your back's got a little arch, your pelvis sits back, gets a bit lazy. You've got to get. You've got to get that and the second you do that core braces glutes engaged that is also the same position 
if you want it to be nice and strong for a shoulder press, really, that is where you should have your hips and your pelvis sat because it makes your core brace and it stops your back from doing that, okay? That's the whole point of that. As soon as you start arching your back, you're gonna get compression in your lower back, and that's when you get issues. So, hips, pelvis, tuck your tailbone under, core's on, glutes on. Now, when you're in that plank position, after a couple of seconds, five, 10 seconds, you might subconsciously, your glutes probably relax because you're pulling with your elbows. You need to keep saying to yourself, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, and then squeeze it back on. And look, you can even see my body as I squeeze my bum, it pulls my elbows down. Begin. Pause. Right, just gonna pause that because I'm still talking. Okay, so as you squeeze your bum, it naturally pulls my body into better alignment, okay? Pulls my elbows down, puts my spine in a more neutral position, which means I'm stronger and less chance to get injured. That is the position you would need with lots of squats and deadlifts and all sorts of things where you get spine compression. Okay, guys, blah, 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 I'm talking. So, round three, are we ready? I'm sweating as much, I'm just not out of breath today. Okay, we start in with that lunge hold. Get ready, guys. Begin. Okay, let's go, knee down, up. Let's go. Hold in. Get that core tense. Where are you feeling now? I'm feeling it in my back, the quad of my back leg actually now. Now my front hamstring. Keep holding. Swap legs. Keep holding. Keep holding. Oh, it's a lot easier to talk when I'm not out of breath. Okay, high plank now, single leg off the ground, swapping at halfway, remember? Okay, hands under shoulders, up into that position, bum down, core engaged, okay, go, three. Begin. Okay, one leg off, keep that bum down, keep pointing towards the floor. Breathe slowly, in through the nose, out through the mouth, keep your breathing under control. Slow breathing, we don't need to be panting out of breath during these. Swap legs. They're not aerobic, they're not getting your heart rate up, so you just need to breathe through it, okay? Your heart rate will come up a little bit, obviously because you're straining and testing your body, but you can breathe through these, okay? Okay, probably the most dynamic out of all of these, apart from the RKC planks, the split squeeze, okay? So, it's quite a tough thing. Probably because for a lot of us, it's not a move you would normally do, so you probably will feel this over the next couple of days. Okay, five seconds, guys, get in position. Okay, nice wide split. Squeeze, here we go, tension's on. If you're feeling it in your knee, just tense your quads a bit more, okay? You can release the pressure a little bit, you can turn your, you can turn your toes out, take pressure off the knee a little bit. Just keep squeezing, keep holding. Squeeze against the floor. Don't let the tension come off, don't rest. Squeeze, keep it on, 15 seconds. Squeeze it against the floor, squeeze. Ugh, hard as you can, squeeze, come on. Five seconds. Resting. Okay, come out of this one slowly. Aye. Nice, shake it off. Okay, V-sit now. Remember, don't be feeling it in your lower back. Nice and controlled, breathing through the moves nice and slowly, okay? Five seconds, lean back, get the core switched on. Hands up. Begin. Feet off the floor, point the toes if you can. Reaching as high as you can. Tense that core. Point the legs, straight them out, keep them locked out. Reach up to the sky. 15 seconds. 
Come on, we're almost there. Last couple of moves. Last couple of moves. We've got this. Shh. Resting. Oh. Okay. Press up. Holding at the bottom of the press up now. Remember, you know where it's more difficult for you. Don't, don't hold in the easy part of the press up, okay? It's about, like I said, about a quarter of the way back up, okay? So, do your press up, yeah. go down, push up, and then hold. Shh, elbows in. Breathe. Halfway. Come on. Yeah. Keep holding, keep holding, guys. Come on, stay with me. Five seconds. Resting. Whoa. Okay, final one. This is the tough of the RKC plank. Remember, clenched fists, parallel hands, pelvis. Twist it forward, squeeze the glutes, core is on. Pull your elbows towards your toes, curl your toes back, push your heels away from you, toes come under. If you're doing it properly, it hurts. Get ready, okay. Glutes on, hands clenched. Begin. Okay, pull. Clench those fists, pull the elbows. Pull the toes towards you, keep the core switched on. Glutes, keep those switched on. Quads are tense. Elbows to toes. Pulling against your own body. If you did that RKC plank properly, it really hurts. And you can go as hard as you can, as hard as you can pull. Really well done. Listen, I hope you enjoyed today's session. It's a little bit different isometric holds. Um, still gets you sweating, still working the body, just less dynamic way. You're not getting you sweat, getting so out of breath. And um, I'd say not a sweaty, it's not, a, not that a sweaty session. Honestly, if you want to mix it up a bit, it's a good way just to shock the body a little bit, test yourselves, just see how you are with your strength and stability, some of those holds involve a lot of stability, core strength. So really well done today, guys. We are back to mixed functional strength tomorrow, a bit more dynamic, gonna be properly sweating tomorrow. Um, thanks for tuning in, my PayPal details are on my page. Listen, suggested donations between three and 10 pounds. Really welcome, but if you can't afford it, just share my page, share my name. And um, really well done today. See you tomorrow. Take care and be safe. Bye bye.